Okay, in this assignment, we want to find the exact location of a hole. So here's our function. Remember that a hole is just a removable discontinuity. So the very first thing that we want to do is we want to factor. So up top in this function, we want to factor the top and bottom. Now the top one is going to be a tough one to factor um, because the A term is not one. So remember that when we do factor this, we have to multiply the A value times the C value first in order to factor that top part. So just a hint here, if you do A times C, you get negative 24. And then what you're looking for is factors of 24 or negative 24 that will also add up to this B term of positive 2. So some hints with that one, immediately 6 and 4 come to mind. I'm going to want to use a positive 6 since I have a positive 2 as my B and a negative, oops, sorry, negative 4. That'll give me a negative 4 and add up to a 2 there. So think about those as your factors here. Then we'll be using factoring by grouping to continue the rest of the way. So finish that one. Um, factor the top and bottom. You're looking for things that will cancel. Remember that whatever cancels you set equal to zero. All right, so in this case, um, let's say we have things that factor out of the top and bottom. I don't know what they'll be. Let's say we have an X plus A in the top and bottom. Whatever those cancel out to do, there. We'd set that A term, whatever that is on the inside, equal to zero. The whole thing, X plus A equals zero. And we'd solve. So we'd subtract from both sides and we'd get the opposite value. Now, once you get that value, whatever it is, um, you're not done yet because it says find the exact location. So exact location is going to be the X and the Y. So all I got to do is take that X value, whatever it is, plug it back in. And I would recommend plugging it back into your factor form, and then you'll get the exact location. Now down here, um, similarly, we want to find the equations of all vertical and horizontal asymptotes and the exact locations of all holes. So a little bit different. Vertical and horizontal asymptotes are going to be a little bit different. Um, vertical, all we're looking for is set the denominator equal to zero. And for horizontal, okay, you're looking for the leading term of the top and bottom. And you're looking for which one dominates. Remember that if the top dominates, there's no horizontal asymptote. If the bottom dominates, it's automatically going to be zero. But if they're both equal to each other, we're going to divide the leading terms of the top and bottom of those coefficients. All right, and remember for holes, we got to start by factoring. So that should be your first step, no matter what you do in each of these problems. Factor, and then use those factors to find your vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Whatever factors out, set that equal to zero for your hole. Similarly down here, this one is a little bit of a clunkier problem as far as just factoring goes. So in this problem, what you'd be looking for, um, some general hints is that you're going to want to factor out a GCF here um, and a GCF here. And then you're going to have a difference of some perfect squares. So still start by factoring here and finding those asymptotes. Um, and then from there, show your work, submit, get some credit.